Alright guys, thanks for joining me. Um, sorry about the shades, it's just I've come sat down in a windbreak to make a video and literally the sun's just come out and it's like blaring and I can barely even see with even shades on what's going on like but um, I hope you're well and I'm still on my old phone as well so you got this weird angle so I um, forgot all about that as well because it's been a bit of a while since I made a video but yeah I just want to make this video anyway concerning a watch time period of this January 25th 26th time and it is a watch period for a dirty temple in God's eyes that being that I believe it's going to be who like takes control of the temple mount because you know the temple mount has been in the control of the Muslims for well you know a, about I don't know a good thousand years at least and um, I mean it was even the Muslims that came there to Jerusalem and fulfilled the beginning of Daniel's 70 weeks because 69 weeks of years ago 483 years ago around 1537 a Muslim the Muslim uh, guy um, Solomon the Magnificent came and he started to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem now that fulfills the prophecy that the walls and the, the city will be built again for the Messiah the Prince to come Um, so, you know, they fulfilled that and it's been in the hand of the Muslims for how long people can remember. They've had control of it. In fact, uh, specifically, it's the King of Jordan who um, controls it. And, um, but at some point, I believe it, what the meaning of the prophecy is, is that the control of the Temple Mount is going to pass to someone else. And it could even, you know, I know as bad as this sounds, it could even be the Israeli government because there may be snakes and serpents and people who want to do evil within the government. You know, I think, you know, I do think ben, Benji uh, Netanyahu is a good dude, to be honest with you. But there are other snakes that, I mean, that uh, Bennett guy, um, I can't, I can't believe it, man. He, he comes in and literally he wants to sell Israel out and he wants a two-state state, state solution. Sorry, my face is probably a bit frozen up from the temperature, but he wants a two-state solution, you know, all of a sudden. And it's like, oh, man, he hasn't even thought about it or nothing or there's no, you know what I mean? So there might be people within this new Israeli coalition that um, want to do evil. So it may be the control of the Israeli new Israeli government that is the meaning of it, or it could be the United Nations, you know, the police of the world, the, 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 the do-gooders of the world that know best and know better than anyone else and literally do as they want and forget everyone else, like everyone else can go along with it. In fact, when uh, Satan incarnated Barack Obama left office, and literally Satan left and he went back into the heavens, so to speak, because he still hasn't intercepted the man-child going to the throne, because the man-child hasn't been sent to the throne, because Israel have to do that too. Uh, but I won't go into that, I won't digress, but... Um, yeah, so when he left office, in fact, you know, it was the United Nations in December 2020, uh, 2016, it was them that said, oh, you know, the Jews don't have any entitlement to the history of the Temple Mount. And it was the Muslims that went nuts and said, what are you talking about? That's where Solomon's Temple stood. And um, so the see United Nations just do what they want and, you know, everyone else has to go along with it, so to speak. So it could be the United Nations that take control of the Temple Mount because of peace and safety and all this crap, like, yeah? So, yeah, just watch, like, because there's going to be a time, all right, and it's going to be when someone else takes control of the Temple Mount, I believe. And this is a prophecy. This is actually the longest day prophecy. Um, and if anyone wants to try and say that the 2300 day prophecy is not a day prophecy, then um, they, they can just read the scripture. It says, the vision of the evening and morning is true. Evening, sunset, morning, sunrise, obviously night, day, 24 hour period or 24 hour day if you want to call it that. So he says the, e the vision of the evening and morning is true. So the 2300 evening and morning, 24 hour day. So 2300 
days. So it's not a year prophecy. If anyone gives you that lie, then you know because it says evening, sunsets, and sun. So for 2,300 sunsets and sunrises, um, that is that is the um, <clears throat> the vision of the dirty temple. 300 days, and then the sanctuary shall be clean. So for 2,300 days, the sanctuary is dirty in God's eyes. And I believe it's by reason of who's controlling it. And like I said, the Muslims have controlled it, let's say forever, uh, you know, for a couple of thousand, a thousand years at least, 2,000 years maybe. And um, because no one else actually wanted to know about it, but uh, it's, it's okay now, but there's gonna be a time coming and it's gonna start the longest day prophecy. 2,300 days, by the way, is about six years and about three and a half months, roughly. All right, but there's going to be a time coming where the control of the Temple Mount is going to change and it's going to be evil in God's eyes. It may not be evil to you. I mean, this is something that can come to pass and people don't actually know the true meaning of it. Because let's say the let's say the 70 week, uh, so, uh, sorry, the seven year agreement happens. I mean, you could preach that. I mean, even, you know, a uh, person that doesn't believe in the Bible or whatever, or just someone with an open mind could actually look at it and go, wow, Daniel says there'll be an agreement for seven years. And look, the the government of the world, the United Nations or Prince William or whoever it, it's going to be uh, together, they've just made an agreement that for seven years they're going to make an agreement to combat climate change and save the planet or whatever it is or whatever the seven year agreement's going to entail and people will actually go wow daniel says seven year agreement and then seven year agreements happen wow wow yeah i see what's going on there trouble with that is though that when that agreement of peace and safety uh, which could be a climate change thing still you know peace and safety of the world you know, when, when that happens, when they're saying peace and safety, it says sudden destruction comes. Like, sudden means bang, like now, not like a few weeks. You know, they could even be still in Geneva when the throne of God hits. That's going to be the destruction. It's going to be the throne of God hits. That's going to be the sixth seal, first passing of the throne. So when they're saying peace and safety and they make seven year agreements to do whatever, maybe climate change, I believe it's going to be now, then bang, the throne's going to hit and then extinction level event anyway. <coughs> so, um, but you could teach that to people. You could say seven year agreement and they'll be like, wow, I can see that. But with this 2,300 years of, uh, of a 300 days of a dirty temple, you know, people may say, wow, the United Nations taking control of the Temple Mount. That's an abomination. It doesn't belong to them. It belongs to God. Okay, what's next kind of thing. But people might not actually know the, the real, re the real um, consequence of it is that that's just started the 2,300 day prophecy of a dirty temple in God's eyes. And the good thing, and the good thing about this is, when you see that two thousand three hundred day prophecy happen, you can tell you know the whole of tribulation then, because you know. And I was thinking about, all right, when is the Temple Mount going to be clean? Is it going to be clean when the the three and a half years are over and the second passing of the throne happens, the two witnesses, and it's the end of the Antichrist? Or does it happen 45 days later when the bold judgments are poured out and then 45 days later Armageddon happens and then Jesus actually comes down, puts his feet, well actually destroys the people and the people, because in my dream he came down like a star, he destroyed the armies at Armageddon, the floor was smouldering he stood, and then I looked over and he stood there and then he raised his hands and then I looked and the smouldering went away and the green grass come through. And that's to me is the purification of the earth 
and that is to me is the cleansing when maybe the 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 temple itself can be cleansed you know so i believe it'll actually be when he returns at armageddon rather than when the three and a half year the last three and a half years is over do you get me So um, anyway, this this January 26 would be 2,300 days from January 26 to Passover 2029 plus 45. So um, yeah, so you'd be able to tell everything as well when this starts. You know what I mean? Because you'll know the end, so you can track back. You'd be like, well, if that's the end, that's Armageddon. Let's say it is Passover 2029. Because here's another thing as well. You know this has to be fulfilled and it has to be played out all right people saying about the seven-year agreement all right but then this prophecy but then the, the the it jesus says the time will be cut short and i believe it will i believe the the first three and a half years will be cut short the second three and a half years that you know of let's say the great tribulation can't be cut short because it's all set in stone it's all set in day prophecy you know and there's loads there's like the two witnesses you know the, the israel fleeing into the wilderness um the two witnesses uh said that on our two witnesses the daily sacrifice being taken away from the temple um and all these things are three and a half years long and so the last three and a half years are all kind of set in stone so it must be the first three and a half years that um must be cut short but here's the thing is that this um, six year, three and a half month prophecy of a dirty temple has to be, has to happen, doesn't it? It has to be played out. So, you know, if you're saying, I want to see Armageddon, I want to see the Battle of Armageddon, I'm like, okay, well, you wait. And when you see a dirty temple mount by reason of control, I believe, then there you go. For si Then you're going to have to wait six years and three and a half months and then Armageddon. And then Jesus can actually return physically, put his feet on the earth and rule the world a thousand years. See, I'm not, when I say Jesus return at Armageddon, I don't mean first passing when, you know, off the throne. I don't mean second passing when he comes with the sickle on, on the cloud. Yeah, I'm talking about when he physically returns to the earth with us and puts his feet on the ground. And rules the world for a thousand a thousand years obviously we'll be in glorified bodies so but it needs to play out so at some point is gonna have to be a six year and three and a half month prophecy of a dirty temple's beginning and like I say, I don't believe it happens yet because even now, even, but here's the thing. It's like you're starting to see the birth pains now because the king of Jordan, who still has ownership of it, who still has control of it, has told the new Israeli government, don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat on that temple mount. All right, so you see the birth pains. It's like, okay, we'll rock the boat then. We'll rock the boat and then we'll bang. And maybe there's going to be like an overhaul. Of, and like I said, the United Nations might come in and oh, peace, 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 peace and safety. Uh, we'll, we'll be the, um, what's the word? We'll be the uh, mediators. We'll stand in. We'll take control of this situation between you. So you can see the United Nations, King of Jordan and Israel, and we'll, we'll sort it out in the United Nations. The minute that, ha that happens, that the United Nations, take control of the temple mount or let's say it passes over to someone else like the new israeli government then that begins the 2300 day prophecy so i'm just saying that um anyway this cut it short a bit january 26 is 2300 days until passover 2029 plus 45 equals armageddon so i'm just saying yo if the two witnesses die because it's like Jesus returning 45 days later. That is in act well Acts Acts 1 he ascends all right 40 days after he's resurrected which is actually 45 days after he was killed.
all right so if it's going to happen like that if if the two witnesses are going to be killed and if you on the passover like jesus was and if jesus is going to descend the same time he ascended which which would be 45 days after the Passover or the Passover, the, the first day of Passover, well, actually the preparation day of Passover when he was killed. If it's going to happen the same as that, then, you know, you're, you're just going to have to, um, you're just going to have to take that as a um, reference point, um, which, which I have. That's what I'm saying. It's like come January 20, 20. Oh, and here's an interesting thing as well. I already talked about this about 45 days ago, pretty much. You know, I give a warning out from like January 12th and then I run through all the different things that were happening in, um, uh, sorry, uh, December 12th. And I ran through all the different things that are happening in December. And, um, and then I said, you know, that January 26th would be the day that we'd be looking at. Um, you know for the temple mount stuff to be happening and so um yeah it's obviously come about now so i'm just gonna see but what i am gonna do though because you know no one really knows but it's this season of the year that i believe it'll happen you know what i mean but what i have done is i will stagger it then you know i'll bump it across like every month like uh, every month for maybe three months in this sort of time period do you know what i mean because it might be the he might return or the two witnesses might be killed on passover two second passover you know which is a month later on the full moon so um yeah i'll stagger it but you know keep on watch out but yeah interesting enough i'm i started talking about this before december 12th and i give you the big rundown and said 45 days window of warning and look at all the stuff that's happened anyway and um uh what's happened since <laughs> is that they've they've actually said they're gonna host um abraham accord peace games which is actually like a games console co um, tournament peace games uh tournament um abraham accords in israel and it's on January the 26th as well, which, you know, is just coincidence, I suppose. But uh, this is what I mean, it, or, or this could be the day maybe that they're going to plan to do something, I don't know. But just keep an eye out for January 26th. And if you do see the Temple Mount control change hands into some someone else, which is, which is not now, either the Israeli government or the United Nations, then um, just now, boom, that's the beginning of uh, the 2300 day prophecy, which is the longest day prophecy. If you look at my timeline thing that I did, you'll see at the top, 2300 days is the longest, and then all the other prophecies can fit into that. But you can map out the whole thing then. I mean, let's say let's say I was right, and you know the Temple Mount, the United Nations take control of the Temple Mount on January twenty sixth, right? Or something happens on the Temple Mount control uh, January twenty sixth, then you can say, okay, then well, Passover plus forty five is twenty twenty nine is the time of the end. And then you can go backwards, and you can map out pretty much all the tribulation. And you can say, well. The destruction of the city begins, the two witnesses come, the Antichrist rules for 45, 42, uh, uh, 42 weeks, uh, Israel will flee in the wilderness for uh, 1,260 days, and all that stuff's going to begin then in the fall, towards the fall feast, let's say towards Feast of Tabernacles of 2025, because that's three and a half years earlier. And then you can kind of get a better idea then you're like oh no when the the last three and a half years the great tribulation as some people call it 
we know when that's going to begin then because you know we we know that the 2300 day prophecy has begun now so you can map out the whole lot you can go back and say well the great tribulation will begin a full 2025 and then but then we got trumpet judgments which are like a, a year and a half you know nuclear war and everything else um yellowstone erupting and the trumpet judgments lap two of them last for a year and a half so yeah you can fit that in and that but that happens after the passing of a throne so then you can do you know what i mean you can like that picture i made you can slide everything in then uh, you have a bit of a one year sort of gap in between as well which Bible says the Antichrist would um, have cahoots with the people who forsake the Holy Covenant to try and overthrow the temple and set up the abomination of desolation in it. Oh, just like a little add-on as well. It's like, well, if people think, well, what about next year? Which, you know, has been running through my head. I'm thinking about, oh, what about next year? But then it's like, well, this six year, this six year and three and a half months still has to play out. And, you know, if it was next year, let's, let's say, then that would, um, that would take you even beyond like, you know, uh, 2029 and stuff like that and so you know other bits would make sense like you know jupiter coming back to virgo the woman uh, jesus christ coming back to israel let's say um just other things wouldn't make sense so it's just you know when you think to yourself oh maybe it's not this year maybe it's next year but i don't know just all the birth pain seems to be about around now as well so um, just got to keep eyes open and not not have a doubt really and just see what happens god bless so, you oh yeah i mean just look out people might say oh that's a bad thing okay what's next but it actually means something that most christians will miss and that is it's begun in for 2300 days that temple mount is dirty in god's eyes until jesus returns to the earth literally foot feet on the ground to purify the earth and at that point the temple will be clean and um in fact at the end of the dream i walk into a temple with jesus and he gives me a scroll and then i walk back out and then the people that had there bowed their heads to me as i was walking past and then i walk and then the dream walked out of the temple and then the dream was over so um yeah so just keep watch out and um, around january 26th but like i said i'm gonna stagger it for a few few months and uh, see how we go god bless you all i've been pastor prophet justin roberts from end of the age bible prophecy and if you're not saved then pray god ask him for forgiveness of your sins and the shed blood of jesus christ will cover you but you have to ask for forgiveness of your sins god bless you all amen